Alan Bresnick from Live Reading. We're here in Atlanta at SCTE Cable Tech Expo. We're at the Guavis booth, and I'm talking to Andrew Sutherland. Andrew, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. All right. So, I heard you had a big moment today. You were doing a demonstration with Comcast about how to use your AI software to help them correct uh, service problems. Yeah, so we, um, we've been working with Comcast for about the past five years, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and using our system to detect uh, anomalies in a lot of their care-related data. Right. Uh, and then we've also been working with them on uh, some more cutting-edge research related to using um, different types of data, like X1 set-top box errors or other X1 types of information um, to predict uh, some of these uh, customer impacts and customer uh, quality of experience problems. Okay, so this demonstration is not an actual deployment. You were just showing how this might work. Is that Right. Result? So uh, we were showing the results of some research that we've been doing, uh, looking at how uh, things like uh, X1 uh, error messages and other data from the set-top box might be used to predict uh, customer impacts like uh, um, technical support calls or customer reported trouble tickets uh, and look at um, different ways that we can figure out um, what the underlying problem is purely from this machine data. Wow, interesting to put that together. What kind of challenges did you have to overcome to make this work? One of the biggest challenges, um, especially with an operator the size of Comcast and especially with um, data like this X1 uh, data set, is the, just the sheer volume of it. You know, uh, with all you know, the data that comes out. Of right, it. exactly. You know, 20, 30 million subscribers right. and, uh, you know, 120 million plus messages per day coming right. out of just the set top boxes, taking that and then combining it with uh, all the other uh, subscriber attribute, attributes that we track um, is pretty pretty challenging. Okay, I'll bet. Uh, I can see a lot, a lot of the benefits that would come out of this, but what would be the most useful things that you see coming from this? Um, I think the, the biggest thing is, um, you know, a lot of what we've done to date has been focused on, um, on identifying problems kind of a, after they happen, maybe shortening the time that it takes them to understand the problem and to resolve the problem, so, so helping the customer experience that way. But if we can rely on machine data, then we can actually get ahead of the calls uh, and, um, and rely more on what the, the underlying network is, telling, is telling us rather than relying on what the customer is telling us directly. Okay. So now that you've done this demonstration, what's the next step? Uh, the next step is that we're going to uh, we're working with Comcast to, to productize this right. and uh, deploy it and, and get it operationalized. I mean, part of the uh, the challenge that uh, Justin Watson, my uh, uh, co-presenter, uh, mentioned is you know getting um, operations teams to um, understand the data and and really understand the machine learning. Um, it's really going to be a, a mindset change. Uh, going from our current kind of reactive uh, approach to a much more proactive uh, approach to dealing with these problems. Yeah, I was going to say, it's probably at least as much a mindset issue as it is a technology issue, right? Exactly. When you have one set of tools that's saying, well, I don't see a problem yet, and you have another t set of tools that says, no, you don't see a problem yet, but right. it's coming, right. <laughs> um, you know, it, it's kind of... Uh, there has to be probably a show me moment, or, or you know, some of that trust has to be built up over time. Right. So a year from now, what do, what do you expect <laughs> to be able to see coming out of this? Uh, so I think a year from now, not only will we be able to um, to predict that, that these uh, types of uh, events are going to occur, so predict these uh, trouble tickets or predict predict these calls, but we'll also be able to um, be looking at what the likely fix is for the problem. So being able to use machine learning. Uh, to, to say, okay, not only is this the problem that's going to happen, but here's the best way to fix it. Right. Um, in the Q&A session, someone asked you know, a question along those lines, and I talked about um, the idea that there's um, different classes of, of solutions. So some, some solutions or some fixes uh, might be really heavyweight, might really require some interaction with the customer, whereas other solutions might be relatively benign, relatively lightweight, Rebooting a cable modem, rebooting a set-top box, might only have a, a, a short-term impact on um, on uh, their service, but could solve could have, keep them from uh, having to call in about a, a, a bigger problem. So, um, 
looking at those those fixes, I think, is really where the you know the logical next step in the progression. Wow, that's interesting. Look forward to hearing more about it. Thanks, Andrew. Sure thing. Thank you.